I believe these things are absolute fucking weapons that you're gonna have in your life that a lot of people won't have. These are gonna be a huge advantage over anyone that's trying to compete with you because when you have these lessons, you're gonna be able to move past this emotional brain, move into the intellectual brain and have it categorized and organized in a way that's simply stronger than your competitor. What's going on gentlemen? It's me, Spencer, back from Must Become. Today we've got a really good video for you guys. This is gonna begin a little bit of a series. I think this is gonna be one of maybe four or five videos where I'm gonna explain and go into a little bit more in depth of one particular topic that has a few subtopics in it. So this isn't necessarily a standalone video. So if you like this video and you like what this video is beginning to get at, I'd encourage you to watch the following videos that are gonna come out very soon after it. And if you've already watched those and you're coming back to the beginning, then I hope that you uh, enjoyed those. And this is a little bit of an intro to what those videos are gonna be about. As always, if you guys like the stuff I talk about, if you guys love this content, you guys are deriving some value from it, then please, for the algorithms, smash that like button. If you have any questions or any suggestions on what I could speak about, anything that could help you guys with anything on your mission with respect to fitness, could be relationships, could be with your business, it could be with diet, it could be with health in general, how to reduce inflammation, all these things. These are all components of trying to become a better guy and become someone who's actually going to change the world and leave a dent in this universe uh, during the limited time that we have here. If you believe also that what you can become, you must become, please ask any sort of comment in the comment section and I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with anything that you guys want to know in that respect. Um, also, please, if you guys want to derive as much value from me and from this platform as absolutely possible, then please ring that notification bell because it'll let you know every single time I upload and that's an opportunity for you guys to learn things just like in this video that will help you guys take it out into the real world and leave a dent in this universe. So with that said, I'm going to jump right into the video. So let's go. Guys, today is about something kind of simple. Like I said, this is an intro video that's going to talk about the next couple of videos that I'm going to go more in depth onto for different kind of things that I really wanted to talk about. But today I wanted to bring our attention to the fact that under pressure, when we're looking to do things that are rational, it can be very difficult. Making rational decisions under pressure, under the gun can be very, very hard. And that's something to do with the way that our brain's actually neurologically wired. Long time ago, right, it would have been best for our amygdala, the part of our brain responsible for a lot of emotions, a lot of our fight and flight response that speaks to our hind brain. Our amygdala would respond first and that would keep us out of danger, right? Our, our, our amygdala is responsible for a lot of things that heighten our emotions such that if we need to fight or we need to flee, it'll kick into gear and you know, we're gonna wanna throw those punches or we're gonna get, wanna get our legs moving and get the fuck out of that situation, right? So where I'm going with this is this. Our brain has been neurologically wired to respond first with emotion and then with rationality. And that's why, you know, in this book, um, it's called Emotional Intelligence. You know, I might put a little pop-up of it right here. In this book, it speaks about specifically how emotional intelligence in a lot of senses is actually more important than IQ. So I believe it's your intellectual quotient or your intelligent quotient or something like that. Your EQ, your emotion, essentially your emotional intelligence is even more important. The reason why is not because if you were to put them side by side, that EQ is strictly speaking more valuable than IQ. It's just that in a real life practice, situation, your EQ is going to kick in almost every single time before an IQ is going to kick in in most social situations. Generally, when we respond to an intellectual problem, that's because our EQ, our emotional brain has determined that it's not something of importance, not something we need to worry about, and we can skip right to the intellectual part. But if it is something we need to worry about, right, we're in a fight or again, a situation where we need to flee, then our EQ is going to kick in first. And if our EQ says, uh, -uh we need to respond to this, it's not even going to get to the IQ part. That's why you know so many people who have such little emotional control is what will happen is they'll get angry and they can't think rationally anymore. This will happen with a lot of your girlfriends or your mothers. A lot of the women in, in our lives, they might be predisposed to be a little bit more emotional just from a neurochemical perspective, from a neurological perspective. And that's why it might be a little bit harder to have a rational discussion when they're very, very upset. Don't get me wrong, the same will happen with men, but we definitely will see that happen more with women. And I'm sure we all know that. And if women are being honest with themselves, um, they know this to be the case as well. Again, I'm not saying all women, but definitely the majority, at least in my experience, this has been the case. Again, it happens to men too, but we see it more prominently with women. With that being said, um, when we try to approach a, an intellectual situation, we'll see that typically it needs to go through our EQ first, okay? So once it's past the EQ, right, the point that I'm ultimately making is that sometimes our EQ can get in the way. We might not even realize that we're emotionally looking at things, which is going to make our ability to rationally analyze problems a little bit more difficult. So we need some sort of system that allows us a predetermined, premeditated system that allows us to logically look at things with a set of parameters that will help us come to decisions that will help keep our EQ in check. OK, now I'm going to call these lenses. Okay, so these are lenses that we can put on that'll help us see the world, help us see problems, help us look for solutions in a certain way that 
as much as possible will not be impeded by our emotionality of the current paradigm, the current situation, the immediate situation that we find ourselves in when we're trying to solve these problems. This is essentially to say that there's a lot of power in having lenses, okay? There's power in lenses. Now, obviously the next question that would come up is, well, what lens is important, right? We've determined that what a lens is, is a certain set of parameters, a certain set of, again, just like we look through binoculars or whatever, we look through a lens that will help magnify certain things. And even though, right, it, it cuts other stuff out. What do binoculars do? What, is a, what does a telescope do, right? What does it do? It cuts a lot of noise out and it zooms in on one specific thing and allows us to analyze a certain set of things in a very particular way, right? And so we need lenses, essentially logical, rational lenses that allow us to problem solve in a way that can, again, especially help us with our relationships and our businesses. Those are the two biggest ways where these can absolutely trump so many other tools that we have, right? With these power of these lenses. Now, in the next few videos, I'm going to go very strictly into what these lenses are. I have four in particular that I use, and these four lenses are incredibly helpful. And sometimes I'll use one in one situation because, you know, I've had more, a little bit more practice using these. And so over time, I get better at deciding which lens makes more sense in which circumstance. But the thing is, is that all of these lenses, you could run through each one, you go one, two, three, four, bang, 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 bang. You go through all of them and you filter a problem through all of them. And by the end, even if you're a very emotional person, you're left with a sense of a more rational, actionable decision than if you were to just leave it to your in the moment thinking. And you were to say, well, you know, how do I deal with the fact that my, you know, business partner did something that wronged me? Let's say he, he messed up with money or he messed up with a decision that's really hurting the business. How do I deal with that? Right? Well, you run through these lenses and you ask yourself, okay, at the end of this, you refine the problem. Essentially you put it through this refinery where you say, okay, by the end you have a more refined, more sophisticated approach towards this issue than if you were to just respond emotionally. Because like I already said, and like the book, Emotional Intelligence will tell you, is that you're more prone as a human being, as rational as you may be, you're more prone to responding emotionally. Even look at those who you know, who have, or at least you suspect have a very, very high IQ. You know, they can be put in situations, everybody can be put in situations where their emotionality goes to the nth degree. And when that happens, your IQ doesn't even get an opportunity to respond. Your emotionality goes up, your intellectuality goes down. And then what can you do about that? There's nothing because your brain is meant to be controlled emotionally first and intellectually second. Our brain, our neurological wiring, like I spoke about a moment ago has hundreds of thousands of years of evolution to keep us safe. But the prefrontal cortex is an infant compared to our hindbrain. It's an infant compared to our hindbrain. And so we respond first with emotionality and then with intellectuality. So this video is essentially an intro to my next few videos, which are gonna talk more in depth about the specific lenses that are going to help you, at least the specific lenses that I use that are going to help you refine problems such that the solution can be more sophisticated and you can actually use all the potential you have towards solving that problem. So please stay tuned for my videos that are coming up. I'm gonna speak about four lenses. I wanna reiterate Drake from the beginning. These are not the lenses that you have to use, but these are lenses that I absolutely recommend every man use because they're lenses that are so helpful with navigating the world, business, relationships, everything like that. And these are things that I want to help you guys with. I believe we all have the software and the computing power in our brains to really use these lenses to our advantage, to really get the things we want out of life. But it requires an introduction to these lenses so that you know how to use them and when to use them. And if you use these, I guarantee you, you're going to see your life improve for the better. Absolutely. And so again, guys, I really believe this isn't some sort of secret hack. This is a tool that you're going to be able to navigate the world with so that you can become a man. And when you become a man, that means that you're really pursuing your potential and you're going to pursue that potential such that you can actually become something that you must become. I believe these things are absolute fucking weapons that you're going to have in your life that a lot of people won't have. These are going to be a huge advantage over anyone that's trying to compete with you because when you have these lessons, you're going to be able to move past this emotional brain, move into the intellectual brain and have it categorized and organized in a way that's simply stronger than your competitor. And when you use them in this way, you are going to become what you must become because you take all that potential energy, that potential value that you have, and you turn it into real substance and real energy that's actually going to leave you with a dent in this universe that belongs to you, something that came from you. So anyway, please watch my next videos. There should be three or four follow-ups where I'm going to speak about these lenses. As always, if you liked this video, please leave a like on this video. It helps me with the algorithms. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, or just want to talk with me personally, as always, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always happy to interact with you guys. And if you like this kind of content, then please ring the bell because when you do, it'll let you know when I release a new video, which will help you derive as much value as possible from the videos that I release. And again, the whole purpose of these videos is strictly to help you and to build this community of men who want to build this world into something that's amazing. You want to do great things, no matter what that is. They want to improve their bodies, their relationships, their businesses, everything like that. That's everything that I'm looking to do. So again, if you like this video, please do all those things. Again, this has been about the power of lenses and how valuable lenses can be. I'm going to release three or four other videos following up specifically about the lenses I use to navigate the world that have helped me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video.